Devin Faraci with Badass Digest on Cinefix here in Park City, Utah for Sundance 2013. I'm joined now by the directors of Lovelace, uh, Jeffrey Friedman and Rob Epstein. Guys, thank you so much for coming by. You guys began uh, as documentary filmmakers and you, you've made the leap to narrative. What is the difference between truth in a documentary and truth in a narrative? Is there a difference? I mean, is a documentary more factually truthful than a narrative? Or, and, and, and is a factual truth more important than uh, a larger truth? Well, a documentary is still told through the lens of the director, so it's the truth as seen by the director, so it's a truth. So why Linda Lovelace? Well, what was it that, that drew you to, to her story? Her personal story is a great dramatic story to tell, uh, but we were also very intrigued with her role in history and her moment in history. It was that moment we think of as the sexual revolution. Right. Uh, segueing into feminism. Right. Well, it's interesting because Deep Throat especially is one of these films that is both a seminal moment, uh, which sounds like a pun, but it's not, is a seminal moment uh, in, in, in sexual liberation, but is also a moment uh, that really captures the abuse that women have experienced uh, over the years. So on the one hand, you have Jackie O going to see Deep Throat, and this is a moment that really brings sexuality to the forefront. On the other hand, Linda is being abused by her husband and is being forced to do these horrible things. Is how, your film, how, how, how are you balancing the, 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 the positive and the negative, or is there even any positive at all for you guys? The way we decided to tell the story is um, as, as the public uh, um, understood the story. Linda wrote uh, four books. The first one or two uh, were probably ghostwritten right. by her husband, and they tell the story of how great, how great sex, sex is and how much she loves it and how free she is. And then the last two books talk about her time in Deep Throat as a time of um, enslavement and abuse. Right. Uh, is, is, is casting difficult in a movie about a porn actress? Is, is it hard to find your leading lady? Well, we have Amanda Seyfried, so uh, we did pretty well. Yeah, you sure did. Yeah. And uh, I mean, Amanda's fearless, and that's what drew us to her. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming here. I appreciate it very thank much. You. Good luck with the films. My Thank name you. is Devin Faraci. This is Badass Digest on Cinefix here in Park City, Utah for Sundance 2013. Subscribe so you don't miss a single interview. Uncle Al and Impossibly Blaze, Jack and Pete, debate the aquatic movements of giant robots in Pacific Rim. There's only one reason Hollywood goes to Utah, Sundance. Gray Drake gives her best films from the not Butch Cassidy Film Festival. Ben Lyons reviews new movies, Grace Randolph recaps the Golden Globes, and Marlon Wayans stops by to talk about a haunted house. Devin Faraci is on location in Park City for everything badass that Sundance has to offer. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.